All right, boys, let's talk Madden 24. Beta has been out for a few weeks. Got a new update today from EA with some gameplay and um, wanted to go through the gridiron notes for the gameplay updates, the gameplay systems, and the stuff that EA put out. Now, we are also going to be dropping, uh, hopefully today, if not later this week, um, our day one material for Madden 24. This is just based off of what we played in the beta and stuff that you can start to apply in Madden 23 to be able to get yourself ready for Madden 24. It includes a full offensive and defensive ebook. So if you're not a Patreon member yet and you want to become one to get better at Madden, you can join for just 10 bucks. The link's going to be in the description. The cool part about that is we're also going to have in that um, all of the blitzing concepts that we believe are going to work in Madden 24. So you get access to everything by being a member. I would really advise you to get in there. If you're not going to get in there in June, get in there in July because it's a great time to get better uh, before the game comes out. Now, I uh, just want to go through the gridiron notes today. Uh, with you guys so um here's the here's the gameplay video which we'll talk a little bit about it in just a second um but i just wanted to go through the notes and then we'll talk about uh kind of recap some of the notes and as well as some of the uh general feedback from the beta that can kind of maybe speak to some of the issues uh, or some of the some of the things going on in madden 24 some of the good things some of the bad things so uh gameplay uh field sense gameplay system sapien technology other associated gameplay features are not available in xbox one and playstation 4 need to be on next gen if you want to get the most up-to-date version of madden it's what all the tournaments are on i'd really advise if you're not on next gen yet like get on it um the consoles are a little bit more easy to acquire than they were previously so field sense this was something they, they brought into uh last year this idea of trying to essentially just make players more responsive on the field um to enhance some of the realism and they have definitely improved this now one of the things that um it was actually talked a little bit about in madden 23 but it didn't really happen a ton was essentially trying to improve drift logic when routes are not in when there's no receiving threat in the area so for example if you were running out of trip side in and you were trying to run a crosser from the trip side to the short side of the field it was difficult to get that crosser open because the outside third defender would essentially play it what was talked about last year that never really i think transpired was this idea that that was going to make bomb coverages significantly easier because the deep zones would never get back and you would be able to bomb over the top relatively easily now you can still bomb over the top of man 23 but i think that in man 24 one of the negatives to the field sense is it is really easy to bomb deep zones in man 24 um very very easy from what we've heard uh community wide so uh to me they've got to look at that a little bit um you there's there's um I think the play clear out FLN is no longer in, uh, which we'll talk about playbooks in a little bit, but a route like um, out of the Ravens playbook, there's a play called clear out SE out, which has that glitchy fade route that still just absolutely torches the deep zones. So um, we'll see if that stuff gets updated before um, before the game drops. If not, Baltimore Ravens might be the move if you're going to be running bunch. All right, so enhanced realism, smarter AI with dozens of improvements to foundational football, especially in opposing quarterbacks, run blocking and pass coverage. Run blocking significantly improved. Opposing quarterbacks is primarily going to be talking about AI uh, opposing quarterbacks, like if you're playing CFM or if you're just playing, you're not playing head-to-head. -head. Most people play head-to-head, -head, um, but they have certainly improved the quarterbacks. Um, deeper immersion through the introduction of new Sapien technology and upgrades to game day emotions. That actually, I think, is low-key one of the real cool things about Madden 24. It really is uh, better in terms of just like the way the players interact with one another on the field. Uh, there is this little uh, – it is a little bit more realistic uh, for sure. It's not as arcadey. Um, definitely, I can see what they're trying to do, and it actually – I'm actually all for it. Like it, the game day emotion and even just like the way um, – the way that uh, – they said pass coach, uh, the way that corners – interact with catch animations i feel like that is so much better this year than last year uh last year there was a significant issue where defensive backs just literally would not animate and you could ag pretty much anything in this year's game um the rack catch is super good um but there's also catch tackles there's uh, knockout catch animations that are really good so i actually really like the way the corners and the wide receivers are interacting in pass coverage to be able to kind of make it a little bit more balanced and honestly make it a lot more realistic uh so here it is hit everything 2.0 catch tackles it's a big one expanding on our mid-air catch tackle system from madden 23 
We can now branch to swats, catch tackles, hit sticks, in all of the contested catch, catch situations, not just when, uh, not just in jumping uh, catches. So players now have more control to be able to defend routes like curl routes, slant routes, streak routes with a variety of realistic outcomes. So um, there's a basically I want to summarize that by just simply saying they react significantly better um, after the ball is thrown than they did in Madden 23. And what this leads to is defenders will put themselves in position to maybe not swap their ball out of the air, but they're going to hit you with a catch tackle and they'll try to break it up. If you combine that with the knockout chemistries, which I would assume that knockouts are going to be in the game and mutt, um, then I think that can actually be a big time argument um, for uh, like a big pro for defense. There's not a lot of defense in next gen, um, man, 24 right now so this right here though is really good if they fix the deep zones and then maybe slightly tune zones just a little bit make them a little bit more effective combined with this right here it could really swing the scales to make it even more of a defensive game so i actually really like how the catch tackling works uh tackling control and variety there was a there is a ton of new uh tackling animations you'll feel more in control with greater differentiation of tackle types based on the defender size strength matchup I actually really like that. I think that's a really like it's a it, it, it's a big deal and a little thing at the same time, but it just kind of makes the game, I think, again, just more realistic. Um, so big man wrap care, tackles um, that wrap and drive the ball carrier back. You see a lot of this. If you're like running through the line, the defensive line catches you. They'll catch him. They'll wrap him up and then they'll kind of carry him backwards. Really like that. Um, they got rid of the conservative tackle um, and they've now instituted wrap tackles, which I like that. Um so yeah, all good stuff on the tackling stuff. There's not a uh, there's not a ton more to say other than there's a lot of new tackling animations. I really don't think there's one good like in, over the last couple of years. Like in Madden 23, it was the juke move or the double juke. In Madden 22, it was the spin move. In Madden 21, it was the stop and go. In Madden 20, it was every ball carrier move, right? But over the last couple of years, there's always been like a really good dominant uh, ball carrier move. I'm not sure that that's actually um i'm not sure that that's true yet of madden 24 other than maybe the stiff arm um but i don't think the stiff arm is too overpowered so there's not a clear cut like really good ball carrier move and i think part of that is because the tackling is significantly better um the wrapping up of the players is really good and they did add over 1700 new tackle animations to hit everything blocking um I like this clarification here because if they just say blocking is better, it's, you know, but the dev note here, run blocking got a significant upgrade because of both field sense and foundational football upgrades in Madden 24. The run game is much more physical. That is very true. Um, and so real quick, to, to be clear, pass blocking is better. Um, pass blocking is better. Like dollar is still good. It's not as good as it was in Madden 23. Um, and, and in general, like blitzing is, is it's good, but it's not as good. So pass blocking got a little bit of an upgrade. I wouldn't say it got a ton of an upgrade, but I got a little bit of an upgrade. Run blocking got a significant upgrade. Um, and you can really see it like the, just the general, like the, the targeting and run blocking and also just like how they hold their blocks really well. Even on kick returns, the blocking is significantly improved. Um, and they've done a lot of work to improve that. So I think that actually, not, I wouldn't say that the run game is overpowered yet, uh, but it is it is more of a thing that you actually have to think about like, okay, how am I going to stop, stop the run? You've got to kind of have a plan for that if you're going to be playing uh, Madden 24 because the run blocking is really, really good. And when they block you, I mean, you're not getting out of the block as easily as you could in previous years. So I uh, really like that a lot. Um, and then uh, skill-based passing system here. Uh, they added more no-look passing animations, which is cool. Uh, the Patrick Mahomes thing, all those improvising, the jump dive throwing animation. Honestly, it's really not like a huge deal. I think even from what I've heard in content uh, from different content creators, it actually puts the offense at a disadvantage because it takes them longer to actually make the throw. So to me, like, you know, no big deal here. This is just like, okay, cool. By and large, from my perspective um, on the skill pace passing 2.0, I just think my, my biggest thing is I think like the ball doesn't go through your hands as much from what I've, I haven't heard a lot of complaints about that, uh, which is a good change. 
and then also I have heard people have not had as much success throwing on the sideline. So that could be a thing. But in general, I think the, the skill-based passing is going in a positive direction. Um, and so hopefully they'll just continue to tune that and make that as good as it possibly can be. Um, I really like this right here. We've modified the placement of slightly inaccurate passes so they aren't so far out of range. And they do have a chance to be catchable with dives or tough catches. There's a lot of diving catch animations um, and a lot of dive animations in general that are really cool in, in Madden 24 from what we saw in the in the, in the the uh, gameplay. Uh, let's see here, not too big about this. Let's just talk more about that. Uh, catching improvements. I would say this is a really cool feature and it's not overpowered. That's what I like about it. Um, so ag catches are no longer like super overpowered, but it, it does introduce a revamped catching system with hundreds of new animations designed to significantly reduce the frequency of missed catches and improve on areas like, and this is a big one, maintaining speed and momentum when catching the ball. That is really cool. Like rat catches, um, I feel like you would like catch the ball and it would like swerve you out or you'd get stuck. It would be hard to get your feet going and then you just get tackled. You run, I feel like it's so smooth this year. Really like that about this game uh, so far. And hopefully they just get continue to improve on that. Rat catches are really, really good because if, in Madden 20, um, three, if you went for a rat catch and they had a KO, you were, you, you literally were screwed. You couldn't do that. You would literally have to ag the, the, the catch and turn your receiver around so that he would avoid the KO and essentially do a 360 uh, on the catching animation and then run after the catch. What I really like about Madden 24 is if you beat the, re if the receiver beats the defender and you rat catch, it's not going to slow him down and he's not going to get KO'd. He's going to catch it in a stride. And it, it really is, uh, really is really nice. I really like the catching. Um, as you can see here, this year players will be able to hit a receiver in stride, maintain speed, more easily catch and get open across the middle of the field. Really like that. Um, and get the appropriate catching animation. So I really like the catching animations a lot. Um, and then uh, this is definitely true with the free form. The free form does lead to a lot of dives. Sapien technology. Um, this just makes players look more realistic. Um, and again, the movement, I would say in general, like it's not fast movement like a Madden 21 current gen, uh, but it's smoother movement. The movement is certainly smoother. I do like that a lot about, um, about Madden 24. Um, so again, it just makes the player models uh, cool. Like it just improves the realism. Uh, as you can see, here's a, I like this little side by side. I think this is cool. There's not a ton different, um, but you'll notice, I mean, you'll notice like little things like, I mean, you just, he looks more realistic. So cool. Um, and then referees are in the game and they even have female referees in the game. So there you go. Inclusive for everybody. Like it. Got to love it. So these are some screenshots. So there you go. And there it is. I think that is pretty much it. Oh, here we go. Uh, defense back in A. Coverage really important. I wanted to read this because this actually is a big deal. Um, so defensive back AI and coverage man 24 makes some big strides in pass coverage. They've added new defensive back movements such as read steps. That's actually really good. Um, what it is, it's a slower backpedal that allows them to evaluate the routes, attack the short route pass game. That's true. The problem with this, um, it is more realistic, but here's the problem in my opinion. So like um, the biggest problem is it makes it really susceptible to bombs. And it was what I was talking about a second ago where Madden 24 is a lot easier to bomb. I think Madden 24 is easier to bomb coverages than Madden 22 was. So they got to kind of tweak that a little bit. Um, I like it. Um, the, the, the deep zones, they, they do have that, what they're talking about there with like that gather steps or those read steps. I like that. If they can actually get back and play their deep responsibility on a, you know, a cover three beater, cover four beater. Um, so I, all in all, like we just got to figure out how to use this, but it is certainly a different, uh, system in terms of it's a little bit more of an advanced off of last year. Um, and these read steps, I really like these read steps in the middle of the field. You'll see like um, cover four drop inside quarters or uh, middle thirds from cover three. They really rob the middle of the field well. Um, the problem is if you just put a streak in a post, I mean, it's 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 hard to stop that bomb. So I don't know. They've got to figure something out about that. Um, but in general, um, 
I think it's going in the right direction. I just think they've got to figure out how to how that player can still actually play his deep responsibility when he sees that deep threat crossing the face of the safety. That that's got to be better. Um, there's got to be a way to do that better. We've added crossover movement that allows the DBs to move at high speeds and still see the ball. Um, okay. Based on your feedback, teamwork to eliminate cases where psych. I disagree with this a lot. This is problematic. So um, the game has – so in Madden 22, in Madden 23, and in Madden 24 so far, they've all been offensive Maddens. Last Madden in the beta defense was really good, and I actually really enjoyed last – I feel – I've said this a lot on, in, in, on Twitter and, and on YouTube that I think Madden 23 peaked – when it was in the beta. I think it was the best in the beta. Um, if you slightly tuned man coverage just a little bit and gave us a little bit more tools to pick up blitzes, Madden 23 would have been the best Madden in the last probably 10 years. Um, and, and of course, the ag stuff. Based on player feedback, our team worked to eliminate cases where psychic corners would sometimes break on balls they could not see. Now defenders need to see the ball to break on it. This was common in man coverage and is much improved. We call this see ball, play ball on the dev team. Don't love that. Um, and the reason I don't love that is because you can throw the ball right at zones faces still, and they don't do anything. So they don't see the ball and they don't play the ball. Um, I just think if you are doing anything to make defense worse right now, not good. Um, so, I don't love this. I feel like, you know, there's feedback that says, oh, the, I never felt like the corners were psychic. I never did. Um, it's Do you have good route combos or not good route combos? Do you set it up good or not? Um, I really don't like this. I feel very helpless on defense right now in Madden 24. And I think a lot of people would echo that sentiment. Basically, you blitz and you pray. And so I just would really like to see a Madden – where you could play some zone coverage and you could actually make some adjustments and it would work. So I really not a big fan of that. Um, and then I do, I mean, again, like we'll see how it plays out, but generally from what I've seen so far, the DBs are stupid. Uh, I'd rather them be psychic. So uh, we have tuned zone defender break time so that defenders can shut down passes made into their zone by intercepting swatting with more contextually appropriate animations or being positioned to land a big catch tackle. I really like the catch tackle to knock the ball out. I really do like that a lot. Um, this is really important here. Crossover steps. I haven't learned how to do that, but I might have to work on that a little bit. Uh, the biggest thing here is just, I just want zone defenders to break on the ball, man. Um, I, I don't feel like, I feel like they're better than Madden 22. Um, and if you have KO abilities, it might be really good. But, man, the zones, man, uh, they've got to make the underneath zones play smarter, better, break on the ball. I could still throw a slant right at a hook curl, and they just don't do anything. So I would really like this to continue to be improved. And, and I think this right here is why this isn't improved. So, And it's the feedback that whoever they're listening to, I don't know. Um, because in, in, in real life – you are, in, you know, zone defenders are anticipating when routes are coming in their area and they're seeing them and they react to them and they jump them. In Madden, they just kind of stand there. So I'd like to see this improved. Um, anything, I really want to see that improve. That's probably my, my, one of my biggest, probably my number two biggest thing is like you've got to make that better. Um, and it used, it was really good in Madden 23 beta. So uh, defensive AI, read and react. Um, I do not, I mean, okay. Uh, just in general, they're going to be smarter. They're going to react better to repetitive plays. That's true. I actually have seen it. Um, I don't like it, but it's okay. Um, I think it should be more on like the user defender and like the actual defense you're setting up to re, to re, uh, to make a good defense for it. Um, so kind of just AI improvements in general. The quarterback AI is a big thing they're focusing on. Um, cool. Um, I play online head-to-head, -head, so I don't really, you know, it's not a big deal. If you're playing head-to-head, -head, this isn't a big deal. Uh, da -da -da -da. And then onside kicks. There are some new onside kicks. I've seen that. Um, I haven't, I'm sure we're going to find something that's going to be like, this is a really, really glitchy way to do an onside kick. Playbooks. Here's what they say here. So this gives me something, and I did want to talk about this. 
For Madden 24, we've added 70 plus new offensive formations. Notice they did not say defensive formations. They have not added anything on the defensive side of the ball. And what has been the biggest issue in Madden for the last three years? Defense. So um, they're giving us no new tools to play defense, but they're giving us a lot of new tools to play offense. Not a big fan of that. Um, not a big fan of that at all. At all. Um, because I think I can count on one hand over the last three or the last two competitive Madden seasons of tournaments, I think I can count on one hand the number of defensive stops that people got. That's a problem. And these are the best players in the world. You've got to give us more tools on defense. You've got to give us more tools on defense. Um, give us some different formations. Give us some different coverages. Something. Um, I'd really like to see defense improved. They did add over 70 new offensive formations. I would say out of these over 70 plus offensive formations, I'd like to see what they mean by that. Um, because it like, for example, and I think civil was talking about this a little bit, but basically they had like gun tight slots and they added pistol tight slots. So I think they're prob I would assume they're categorizing that as a new formation and all of the plays in that formation, they are saying is a new play. So if you take that with a grain of salt, I would say there's pro I don't know, seven if unless I unless they're going to add more stuff than they've added currently for the beta, then cool. I mean it's cool. Anything anytime they can new add new stuff, that's cool. Excited about it. This gives me a reason to believe they're not done with the playbooks and they're gonna continue to add. And there'll probably be some new formations when the game actually comes out. But um, cool. Awesome. Love it. New formations, new playbooks. Um, my general consensus on the feedback that I've gotten at large is that none of the new formations that they have added are good enough to be standalone formations um, or at least good enough to outdo a tight slots or bunch or trips. So that's something to... Keep in mind. Uh, and then post play motion, I've talked a little bit about this, but it is a lot more realistic and just a lot better overall. So, um, really like a lot about Man 24, really excited about Man 24. I really hope <laughs> that they, um, there's two big things I want to see fixed. And the second one I can live with if the first one gets fixed. So the second one thing that I want to get fixed, and I've talked a little bit about it, is just the zones. I feel like they need to tune the zones a little bit, at least, uh, and make the zones better. Because if they don't, you're going to drop 50 points by halftime in this year's game. It's really easy to bomb coverage. If you know what you're doing, you're going to drop a lot of points. And if you want to learn how to do that, join the Patreon. Ten bucks will teach you how to do it. Really, really hard to play defense right now. The number one thing they have to fix, and a, a number one thing they have to fix, and I will literally, I've been trying to talk about it in almost every video I do because I really, really hope that they get this fixed. And I feel like the more that people talk about this, the more of a chance we have at actually seeing this fixed. I don't know why this is an issue. I'm annoyed that it's an issue. I wish they would just fix the issue. You have to be able to fix the buttons. The buttons have to work. The button delay, and on defense, it is massive. It is a massive issue because I literally can't play defense. It's why what I've said publicly is the best way to play defense in Madden 24 is to send six, five or six out of man coverage and try to get as much pressure as you possibly can because you can only make three adjustments, and that includes pressing your defense and um, – putting one of the blitzers in coverage or crashing your line. You literally can only make two to three adjustments at the most. That is very problematic. And if they don't fix it, you will literally not be able to play defense. The game has to be able to work. And even on offense, the problem because um, you'll have wide open receivers, you'll hit the button and you won't be able to hit the button and it, the ball won't be thrown. They've got to fix the button delay the, the on for head to head game modes. You can do it on practice mode and stuff. And it pretty much works for the most part. It's when you get in an online game or I think even in just in general, when you get in a game, you can't you can't hit the freaking button. The, the, the buttons don't register and it, it it's really bad. Um, they've got to fix that. They have to fix that. I, I've tweeted about this. There's people right now that have the Madden 24 beta that would rather play Madden 23 because they literally can't play Madden 24 because the buttons don't work. 
They've got to fix the button delay. It is a massive, massive issue. So as I close this video out, I'm excited for Madden 24. If they fix those two things, it's going to be a really good Madden. They've got to fix that. For, they've got to fix the buttons. That is super important. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out uh, any of the ebook stuff to get better, join the Patreon. 10 bucks. Link is in the description down below.